Hi, welcome back. In this videos, we will be talking about the Dempster Schaefer theory of evidential reasoning. What is Dempster Schaefer theory of evidential reasoning? The Dempster Schaefer theory of evidential reasoning, also known as belief theory or evidence theory, is a mathematical framework for reasoning with uncertainty and incomplete information. It was developed by Arthur Dempster and Glenn Schaefer in the 1960s as an alternative to classical probability theory. The Dempster Schaefer theory deals with situations where we have some evidence about a hypothesis or event, but that evidence is uncertain or incomplete. It allows us to combine different sources of evidence and assign degrees of belief to different hypotheses or events. The theory represents beliefs as sets of probabilities called belief functions or mass functions, that assign probabilities to subsets of possible outcomes. These belief functions are combined using a mathematical operation called the Dempster-Schafer combination rule, which takes into account the degree of overlap between different sets of evidence. The result of the combination is a new belief function that represents our updated degree of belief in the different hypotheses or events. The dempster schaefer theory has applications in various fields, including artificial intelligence, decision-making, and risk assessment. It is particularly useful in situations where there is uncertainty, ambiguity, or conflicting evidence, and where traditional probability theory may not be applicable. Here is an example of how the dempster schaefer theory of evidential reasoning can be applied. Suppose we want to determine whether a particular food item is safe for consumption based on two sources of evidence, a taste test and a chemical analysis. The taste test involves a group of people testing the food item and rating it as either safe or unsafe. The chemical analysis measures the presence of a certain chemical compound that is known to be harmful. We can represent the evidence from the taste test as a belief function that assigns a probability of 0.8 to the set of people who rate the food item as safe and a probability of 0.2 to the set of people who rate it as unsafe. Similarly, we can represent the evidence from the chemical analysis as a belief function that assigns a probability of 0.7 to the set of food items that do not contain the harmful chemical and a probability of 0.3 to the set of food items that do contain harmful chemical. To combine the evidence from both sources, we use the dempster schaefer combination rule. This involves computing the degree of overlap between the two belief functions which is done by calculating their commonality function. In this case, we assume that the two sources of evidence are independent. Using the formula for the dempster schaefer combination rule, using the given probabilities. To compute the normalization factor k, we need to sum the probabilities of all possible sets of evidence that can be obtained by combining a and b. To compute Bell, A and R and B, we need to evaluate the sum over all possible sets of evidence C and D such that their intersection is empty. The only such set in this case is, safe, and, food does not contain harmful chemical. So the new belief function assigns a probability of 0.903 to the set of food items that are safe and do not contain a harmful chemical and a probability of 0.097 to the complement of this set, which is the set of food items that are either not safe or contain a harmful chemical. This example illustrates how the dempster schaefer theory of evidential reasoning can be used to combine different sources of evidence and make decisions based on incomplete or uncertain information. By representing beliefs as sets of probabilities and combining them using the dempster schaefer combination rule, we can obtain a more accurate and reliable estimate of the probability of different outcomes.